Hello and welcome to Old Ways Gardening and Prepping. My name is Teresa. I would like to welcome you on this little adventure that we've gone on and we're gathering Usnia. This is Usnia. Our Usnia does not grow as long as the ones in the northwest coast. Ours is smaller, but it is still Usnia. Sometimes it falls from the trees on branches. Sometimes it'll fall on the ground in just clusters. But this is Usnia, an amazing medicinal. It's actually more medicinal than elderberries. And I swear by this one. And, of course, I'll have more information in the description box below of its medicinal benefits. And I will be showing you how to make a tincture with it as well. Now, what you're going to want to do is see where it's attached to the limb and just pull it off. And you want to try not to get any of the bark with it, but I'll be trimming that off at a later date. But yep, you just peel it off. And where Usnia grows, you can guarantee that the air is pure. They like to grow on oak trees, especially sweet gum, and a few others. And you just pull it right off, make sure you get all of it. Well, I'm going to get off of here and get busy cleaning these branches. Because I'm not letting any of this Usnia go to waste. And I'll bring you back when it's time to make the tincture. Okay, we are back from picking Usnia. We were blessed. This is only a small amount of what we come home with. Now, not once did we pick off of a tree, not once. All of this is down stormfall, which is the easiest way to find Usnia. Now, I will be making a half a gallon, as usual, of tincture. Now, depending on how much you find around you, I started out making jelly jars worth of Usnia tincture until we found this blessed spot and we go maybe twice a year to pick up downfall and it's just an amazing blessed spot and we're thankful for every bit of it now I'm going to show you let's get the camera down here so you can see better what I'm doing All right, you want your half gallon jar and you're going, see here's a nice, big, healthy patch of it. You want to make sure you get any bark out. And into the jar it goes. Now, I will say this is the only... Well, not only. One of very few medicinals that I can use 80 proof vodka on. You can get away with 80 proof vodka with Usnia because there's not much moisture whatsoever in Usnia. And most of all the medicinal benefits of Usnia is uh, alcohol drawn. So it's alcohol based so it takes alcohol to pull the medicinal benefits of the Usnia out and you just want to go through make sure there's no dirt 
on it. No um, tree bark on it. And to me, Usnia is a bigger powerhouse than elderberry. And I love my elderberries, but Usnia is my first love. Now, there is plenty more medicinal benefits information in the description box below. So, please, everyone, do go read that. There is only one side effect that I know of from Usnia, and that is very easily taken care of. It can cause your body to hold on to hard metals or heavy metals. All you have to do is when you take Usnia, make sure you drink plenty of fluids, and you'll be perfectly fine. And yes, Usnia does grow in the south. As you can tell, ours just usually does not go on mosquito. Ours usually does not get as long as the Usnia in the northwest coast. Once in a blue moon, like here, you might find some really good hairy patches. But Usually it's really short. And like I said, check your oak trees, your uh, sweet gum trees. Once in a while I have seen it in pecan and walnut. It all depends on your area. And when you find it, you know you have good pure air because it will not grow and dirty places. Now sometimes you can find it growing on rocks along creek beds, stream beds. You can find it growing in bushes along the lamp. Um, You want to make sure that you don't have any bark in your tincture and that it's just oozing Now, if it's really dirty, you can kind of wash it. I just, I don't like taking a chance of washing it because I don't want to lose any of the Usnia, let alone any medicinal benefits of it. And most of what we find is all clean. Look for limbs that have fallen in storms or on windy days, Usnia will come down. It's not always attached to branches. It can fall in little clumps to the ground on its own. But Usnia is definitely one tincture that you want in your medicine cabinet. I have healed many, many things with Usnia. Uh, you can make a tincture with it. You can uh, let it, I know it sounds weird, let it dry, which it does. It's pretty much dry as it is but it'll dry more. You can make tea with it. Save some Usnia back for tea as well. I have brewed Usnia tea and I have, when I had chickens, when they got feeling bad, I would heal chickens with it. I have healed sick cats with Usnia tea. I haven't tried, I haven't used it on dogs yet, but as long as you give them just a little bit and make sure they have plenty of water, they'll be perfectly fine. The chickens absolutely just went wild for the Usnia tea.
but it works wonders for many, many things. To be so little of a plant, it is a massive powerhouse. And I am thankful since the day that I was introduced to Uzmia. And I'm going to be making several, several jars of Uzmia tincture. Because we have been taking our Uzmia tincture since this crap come ashore. And, well, we are still cootie free. That's to say, we are still cootie free. Like I said, you want to make sure that there's no bark. And that you just want the pure oozmia, no mosquitoes, <laughs> into your jar. I, I'm going to continue to clean this, and then I'll bring you back as soon as I have. And I'm going to want my jar at least a little over halfway full. And I'll bring you back here in just a little bit. Okay, I am finally going through my Uznia, and this is a little over about half the jar. I don't want to push it down too much because I want to make sure that it has plenty of room to uh, move around in the alcohol so the alcohol can draw out all of the medicinal benefits. And like I said, this is one of very few medicinal that you can get away with using 80 proof. Oh no, this is going to take forever. Nope. There we go. Okay, I'm going to pause it because I've got to get another bottle. Okay, I have my second bottle to top it off. You want to make sure that you fill it up to the top. And we're going to put the lid on for a minute. And make sure that there's no air bubbles, no air pockets. And I see that the Uznia is expanding already, which is a good thing. And then you want to make sure that you fill it on up to the rim. Because you do not want any air. Every other day, you're going to want to move it around, make sure that it's getting, it's getting plenty of uh, movement in it. That way, all the alcohol can withdraw the medicinal benefits of the Uznia. Uh, about once a week, double check, make sure there, that your alcohol level stays up to the rim. And then, of course, you're going to want to take your Sharpie marker and write Uznia tincture. And then, of course, date it 9-7-21. Now, in eight weeks, well, you're going to want to put this in a cool, dark place. 
that way make sure that you do move it around every day or two and like I said double check your alcohol level make sure that your alcohol level stays up to the rim and in eight weeks your tincture is ready you can strain it then or you can just continue to leave it on the shelf you do not have to strain every single tincture on exactly the eight week mark it is good indefinitely it's based in alcohol see how simple and easy that is to make anybody can make this you don't have to trust big pharma you don't have to uh, go to overpriced stores uh, that sell tincture most of these tinctures are ungodly priced and it's ridiculous how they rip people off now if you have any questions please feel free to ask them in the comment section below but now do you see how simple and easy it is to make yourself it's an antiviral antimicrobial antibacterial it's antifungal it's antiseptic and the list goes on and on this is one that you definitely want to have in your home either in tincture form or dry form for tea, either or. They both work wonders. Please click the like and subscribe button so you can come along on other adventures with me and learning how to be self-sufficient and how to heal yourself. Please click the bell notification so you'll be notified when I upload another video. And also, Please share my videos. If you enjoy them, please share them far and wide so that we can teach as many people as possible. Everyone, take care. Please be blessed. Go outside. Get you some sunshine. Dig in the soil. It's healthy for you. And go out there and see if you can't find your own Uznia. I look forward to seeing you in my next video, and may you each be blessed.